वेलकम टू माई डियर स्टूडेंट आई एम खुजिस्तान और इन लीजा लेक्चरार इंग्लिश आनंदमोहन कलेज माइम सिंह दिस क्लस इज फर अनार्स फार्ष्ट इयर एंड आवर सबजेक्ट इज इंग्लिश एंड टू दिस टू डेज टपिक इज नवल यू नो यू हाव ए नवल ओनलि वन नवल इन योर सिलबास दैट इज सैलस मार्नर बैटरी जर्ज इलियट टूडे आवर टपिक इज कैरेक्टर एनालिसिस एंड टूडे आई उल एनालिसिस द कैरेक्टर of the main character that is silas manor uh to this lesson outcome learners will be able to say about character of silas manor and explain his relationship with other characters that is too much important to analyze the character and the uh, our learners will be able to explain his role of fate and faith on man and god and uh, i wish our learners will be able to write the victorian characteristics in silas manner through this analysis next if we uh, organize the all the characteristics of silas manner we can find he is an unlikely hero in his personality age and physique that is uh, unlikely hero that means he is not a hero as as our wish or we always wish that our hero will be a strong is a man will be a man of a strong personality of young age and a strong physical abilities but uh, our this hero is not that type of hero if we read this novel we can also find his presence from the very first of the novel and uh, he is also a sympathetic identity and this identity is, uh, his sympathetic identity is actually the reader reader's view if we read the novel we will feel sympathy for him and uh, the another characteristics of uh, our um, character uh, our salas manner is uh, his ardent religious nature is replaced by the rejection of god and man then faithlessness then superstitious loneliness he is not revengeful he uh, not revengeful i will explain it later but now uh, i can say you something that he is not revengeful he only give himself punishment he uh, is a uh, expert in wavering waving and uh, wavering actually and uh, Uh, he is good natured and honest he is sympathetic in a, we can find him sympathetic in his relationship with epi he is also a good father he is emotional epi's life unfolded as and his soul unfolded too and uh, we can find a strong bondage without blood connection this is uh, uh, i mean relationship between epi and salas manner and he leads a simple life before explaining uh, his characteristics I mean the characteristics of Silas Marner. I will say some say you something about George Eliot, who wrote this novel. Actually, she is a an English novelist. She is a poet. She is a journalist and also a translator. Uh, this is a novel of Victorian era. I mean, we, if we uh, uh, think about Victorian era, the uh, time outline is 1837 to 1901. and uh, the me- uh, real name of george eliot is maria nevins um she wrote about social economic religious and intellectual issues and problems i mean problems of his a- of her age her writings should take seriously as she uh, mm, she did not like that uh, her readers take his take her writings uh, lightly i mean uh, the women are taken as uh, light hearted and uh, uh, s- will write something about silly matters but she is not as like as others so she wished to have her fiction just separately as a critic and, a, and a editor we can find industrial revolution class tension feminism feminist movement political uh, pressures uh, be, and uh, religious factors and um, di- i mean different type of issues i mean 
okay her novel deals with different issues and problems of the of her time this is our george eliot and uh, uh now i i wish i will say something about the all the characteristics and i will explain the characteristics of uh, this character uh, selas manor i mean mm, i mean this novelist she put her intellectual power I and mean, all her intellectual power in in her novel and she makes it successful the central character of this novel is silas manor and he is an unlikely hero in terms of personality of age and of physique he is not a man of strong personality he is uh, we start this novel from his uh, young age but uh, we go through uh, his uh, all that i mean his old age i mean we find him sir him in his old age much elaborately than his young age and he is not physically that much as strong as uh, as like as other uh, heroes of the other novels or movies or something like that he has some psychological and uh, physiological problems i mean physical problems we know uh, epilepsy and uh, george eliot put the strongest features in this character while writing this novel i mean this character ables to establish a strong feelings and emotions in our minds and our hearts when we read this novel we can find here mainly two settings that is lanternier and ravelo the backyard look at lanternier gives this character or salas manner a sympathetic identity and explain his behavior and we can find his behavior and reactions in ravelo his ardent religious nature is replaced by the rejection of god and man how we can find it he was cheated by his closest friend william dan and his beloved beloved slav when he was cheated by his close friend and his beloved he loses all his faith on god and man and this is the main problem of this character he he loses all the faith on god and man the trusting impressionable and vulnerable young waver of lanternier is replaced by the man withdrawn into a solitary insect like existence in ravelo that means he started i mean he le- left lanternier and he started to live in ravelo and when he started to live in ravelo he was a lonely man he was a lonely man and uh, he started to live a solitary insect like life insect like life in ravelo in his early years salas was a very devoted man and he has a complete devotion to god and uh, he was uh, leading a pious life but when he was cheated by his friend and uh, his beloved he totally became shocked when he has full faith in god and uh, leading a pious life he spent all of his earnings i mean more major part of his earnings in charity he was so much simple minded that he never suspected william dan and his beloved as a conspirator he was astonished when he realized that his friend and beloved betrayed him he lost his religious faith completely his shock was so intense that the writer represents his feelings in this way i mean i am saying the 
sentences i mean the da, uh, emotion of his feelings of silas manner's feelings is there is an angel who records the sorrows of men as well as their sins he knows how many and deep are the sorrows that spring from false ideas for which no man is capable again i am saying is there is an angel who records the sorrows of man as well as their sins he knows how many and deep are the sorrows that is spring from false ideas for which no man is capable and again we can say that i mean uh, uh, from the beginning and um, to this point we can find out that lantern yard is a community who are superstitious and they have narrowness and all of them they broke the heart of silas panner as they didn't judge his fault after this he was not revengeful at all because he was cheated by his friend betrayed by his girlfriend or his beloved and when they put i mean the court or charge put him false accusation he didn't say anything and i am saying again he didn't say anything he is not revengeful he when we the people are uh, are punished or accused by anything or any acqu- acqu- acquisition or um, uh, any false accusation we always try to defend ourselves but in this case we can see that salas did not express the truth to the community he listened the decision of the church in silence and he left lantern yard so in this case we can say he was not revengeful at all but he what did he do he gave himself punishment he lived 15 years a lonely life in ravalo and did his own work alone he did not mix with others because he did not trust anybody even the women of ravalo did not want to marry him because they find that his eyes were like a dead man that made them afraid so they did not feel any interest to marry him silas had some qualities he had the dexterity in wa- in wavering in waving he inherited some uh, uh, i mean medical issues or uh, uh, inherited from his mother about the medicinal herbs he knows about something and he used his good waving capabilities for earning more gold his affection for money was his second sin because it was his passion for money which completed the process of his dehumanization what is the sin actually what is the sin when he his affection for money we can find this is a sin why this is a sin this is a sin because we have come from god and we have to go to our god go back to our god so if we have affection towards money without god or we if we replace our god by money that is of course a sin he totally lost his belief on god and man and that is replaced by his affection for money and this is of course a sin for that reason god has punished him by replacing his gold coins or god has taken his gold coins by any condition by or by, by creating any situation because this is a sin he should not put all her aff- all his affection towards money or demigod that is not god that has which has no power and of course when we put our trust on money without god that is dehumanization this is not a human i mean human uh, human qualities 
ओके देन सलस मर्नर वॉज गुड नेचर एंड ऑनेस्ट ही फेल्ड पीट पीटी वेन ही सॉ द कॉबलर्स वाइफ सीटेड बाई द फायर सफरिंग फ्रॉम टेरिबल सिम्टम्स ऑफ हार्ट डिजीज एंड ड्रॉपसी सो ही क्योर्ड हार बाई हिज मेडिकल हर्ब्स सो थ्रो दिस वी कैन फाइंड हिज गुड नेचर एंड हिज गुड नेचरनेस एंड सिम्पैथेटिक कैरेक्टर्स ऑल्सो हिज सिम्पैथेटिक कैरेक्टर्स एंड देन वेन ही गॉट एपी he thought by seeing the gold hair he just uttered gold his own gold brought back to him as mysteriously as it had been taken away and when he saw it is gold hair he thought that is his gold that was his gold here we can find a sympathetic characteristics in salas manner when we explain his relationship with ap and salas manner he brought this child in an emotional way and he is also a good father he did not know how to bring up a child but he was guided by his uh, other neighbors and he was totally fully aware of the well beings of this child he was prepared to do anything for the betterment of this child and through this child he started to come back his faith his life to his lifeless characters lifeless life he started to come back in his life then he insists that he will do whatever is right by the for the child and uh, through this we can find he is a good father he already he is ready to sacrifice himself for this child and we are astonished by his behavior i mean here is we can find a good contrast between between silas manner and then our another character that is godfrey who refused to take the responsibility of this child who is the real father of this little child ap we can find a beautiful passage traces the movement of salas's mind and emotions as the child's mind was growing into knowledge his mind was growing into memory as her life unfolded his soul long stupefied in a cold narrow prison was unfolding to and trembling gradually into full consciousness if we explain this line i will say the, the line again i am saying the line again as the child's mind was growing into knowledge his mind was growing into memory as her life unfolded his soul longs to be fight in a cold narrow prison was unfolding too and trembling gradually into full consciousness that is this child's growing up and his mind's consciousness growing parallelly here both of them her life was unfolded and his soul is unfolded too we can find this here if his life unfolded and his soul unfolded too how why here our novelist say that his stupefy his soul long stupefied in a cold narrow prison was unfolding why his soul is called here stupefied in a cold narrow prison because he lost his faith on god and man he was shrinked in himself he was lonely actually he is not in his life he was lifeless he was dehumanized he lost all his happiness his love 15 years back in lantern yard but through this child after 15 years through this child he started to come back in his life then 
her feelings for his mother and little sister we find in keeping the name of the child uh, child epi his relationship with epi was too much strong through there was no blood connection here bondage without blood connection here we can explain the, the term bondage without blood connection uh, one of the greatest characteristics of silas manner uh this is a uh, this is also a contrast with godfrey and salas manner godfrey is the main character uh, is another character who is the real father of ap and here salas manner is not the real father but he brought her up when our character godfrey refused to take the responsibility and the real identity of this child salas manner took this child as a gift from god and he brought her up and he got the life in another way our godfrey lose his life how because he refused to take the responsibility his of uh, his real daughter or real child and god has punished him by not giving him another child when we can say our uh, our uh, uh, silas manner is a good father we can also find him a good father when i mean uh, through the uh, behavior of ap how ap refused to get back to his real father his blood connected father godfrey because she feels the salas manner is a good father who didn't get her away for money or for uh, uh, honor or for family affairs or something like that godfrey here godfrey was not mentally prepared to take the responsibility of the child because he may have to i may uh, have to lose his properties but salas manner never thought about the money for bringing up this child because she he was sympathetic to this little child so here it is a typical of salas manner that he, he has no trace of concealment in his nature the contrast with godfrey is evident and he tells epi how he came came by her okay then the inward life is what we have seen most of, most of in silas but the return of god moves him to express the simple philosophy he has come to embrace the money was taken taken away from me in time and you see it's been kept kept till was wanted for you it's a wonderful our life is wonder wonderful it's wonderful our life is wonderful we you can uh, my dear student you can find it in chapter 9 this dialogue the money was taken away from me in time and you see it's been kept kept till it was wanted for you it's wonderful our life is wonderful finally this long lonely sorrowful man realized the wonderfulness of her life he realized i mean he can find out the the loveliness of our life his jollity was back by by the god when god feels the humanized cap- qualities in him he presented him with a beautiful life with a beautiful child on, on the other, contrary or on the other hand god will lose love of life and the wonderfulness of life because he chose the wrong option when he has a option to choice properties or the child salas is a wonderfully evoked character his straightforwardness simplicity when we don't nature conveyed through direct conversation and commentary which identifies completely with his consciousness a tribute to eliot's imaginative and sympathetic thought and emotion here you eliot shows the dexterity in creating such a wonderful character 
through this Silas Manor. Actually, Silas Manor is a novel where we can find a wonderful relationship or a wonderful bondage between father and daughter without blood connection. And also, we can find moral lessons where wicked would be punished and the good would be rewarded. Okay, uh, I wish if you uh, read again and again the novel, you can realize the uh, the inner beauty of this novel. I wish, and you can realize. I mean, you can feel all the uh, inner qualities of this character in a more better way. I wish, my dear student. Uh, thank you.